Speaker. Mobile phones these days are no longer just a way to communicate. They are part of our life. They're the way that we um, can do work, the way we can get access to education. Uh, they're entirely part of our life now and an essential part of our life. It's disappointing that in Clyde North, there is so many parts of that community, a new community, that have zero access to mobile phones at the moment. Telstra, if you look on their maps, will say 4G is green the whole way through Clyde North. And I can assure you the amount of people that are coming into my office now that is coming into the new electorate of Berwick who are complaining about the fact that they can't get access on their mobile phones. They drop out. And at the moment, more and more people are working from home. This is a problem that needs to be fixed. Telstra, Vodafone, Optus, I don't care who goes down there and has a look at it. I have promised on behalf of my community I will contact all of those telecommunications organisations and ensure we can get it back. Young children are working or doing education from home. Whilst they're at home, they're expected to be on laptops. Most of them will be using a mobile phone these days as a hotspot or having something on their phone to connect through to the system. It is so unfair that kids in these areas, when they're moving in there, don't have the access to the vital services for education. If they're home on isolation for seven days now, they should have that same access that every other student has. You can't develop these areas and then not give them the infrastructure to make sure they can survive in a modern world. The Minister for Speaker, 